So the importance of remaining grounded was mentioned in my reading, even for myself. And the reason for this, and I never really understood what it meant, but as time went on, I've started to really understand it. And it just means that you're here fully on planet Earth to experience whatever is. Even if you experience fear in the process or resistance or anger, whatever it is, you just allow those emotions to be there. Just feel them and be aware of them. Don't resist them. The important thing is to really accept and to even come from it from a place of love. To love being on planet Earth. No matter what comes, no matter what, you know, all the difficulties, just love it and just truly embrace it. It is an amazing time to be alive. Like I said, because of the, the shift, Earth is moving into a different dimension. It is raising its vibration. And we have the opportunity to shift with planet Earth, to also raise our vibration, to match hers, and to shift with her en masse. So this is something that Dolores Cannon has written a great deal about. Um, this was prophesied in the Bible. It's also a lot of channelings right now are also uh, mentioning the new earth and this momentous time that we are in. So it's, uh, it's really an amazing time. And there is really no fear about this. There is no fear that needs to be attached to this situation because we all have a different role to play within this time. You know, some people are here as light workers, so they're here to help other people awaken. And that's wonderful. <laughs> some people are young souls. And young souls are really still need to experience negativity. They still want to experience ego-based consciousness. That's why they're here. And so you can try to reason or you, you can try to, you know, do whatever you want to a young soul. If they're not ready to embrace heart-based living, heart-based consciousness, then they're just not ready. And that's okay. We've got to accept that. We've got to make room for it because we all have our roles to play. <clears throat> and in the grand game of life, there is really no right or wrong. Or oh, this person is living a bad life or wrong life. No, there's only experience. Everything is experience at the end. Sometimes I myself, I, I see... Certain things happening, obviously, when you watch the news, especially, which the news, turn it off, turn it off. But the news is full of negativity, um, you know, and you just want to say, oh, I, you know, I, I don't want, I don't want to be here. I want to, or I want to change this person. I want to do that. But actually, there's no need for it because actually, to be honest with you, everybody is exactly where they need to be right now. Because when you leave this earth, and you are in the spiritual realm, you realize that actually everything is already perfect, just the way it is. Even with all the negativity, with all the violence, with all the hate, and all the ooh, seriously crazy things that are happening, which I'm not going to go into, all of that is still perfect. Because we've chosen all of these paths. Even I myself have gone through very difficult things in my life. From living in an orphanage as a baby, I didn't grow up with my mother. I lived in Nigeria for six years when I was a child. Saw dead bodies all around me. Um, was beaten as a child for many years. So I've experienced um, some very serious things, actually, you could say. But um, I think one thing that really helped me was the fact that, uh, I don't know, there was that awareness within me. There was a knowing. And that knowing always helped me to stay sane, I guess you could say. Stay grounded, stay clear, clear in mind. And, and that's the difference between an old soul and a young soul, I think. An old soul, because they've experienced so many things. When you see a young baby, they're not innocent at all. They, they carry a lot of knowledge and knowingness within themselves. And that really helps to also guide them in their life, in this present lifetime, and helps them to understand things better, and put things into perspective. It is a great time to be alive, no matter where you are, no matter what you experience. 
It is a momentous time. The earth is shifting into a new dimension. We are spiritual beings. We have nothing to fear, even though, yes, it can be scary, but there is nothing to fear. So remember always, if you're in a difficult situation, if you feel lost, and I feel that way too many times, always remember, no matter what happens to you, you never die. You are a part of God. Without you, God will not exist because you are a part of God. So you can never be destroyed. Even if people try to put fear into you by telling you there's a devil, there's hellfire, and if you don't do this or if you're bad, you're going to go there, it is all a lie. And it's there to simply control you, to keep people in a certain space where they don't find the power within themselves. You're a grand spiritual being. No, you're not destroyable. You can never be destroyed. Your soul can never be captured unless you yourself believe that. Then it can be so. You are a powerful being and the power is within you. It doesn't matter what anyone else believes. It's what matters is what you believe. If you allow the beliefs of others to affect your belief, then yes, they have power over you. But you are the designer of your own life. So take control of it. you got to love yourself first. Start with yourself. Do whatever you need to do to love yourself fully. And that's when your cup is full and you can give to others. Anyways, I'm going to cut the video up here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Hmm. So yummy.